Hi everybody, this is Patrick from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, we're just rebuilding uh, engineeringshock.com, so if you have a chance, stop by, maybe register. Uh, we offer uh, excellent deals on, uh, on uh, hobby electronics. Anyway, this video is to showcase a fun little circuit, extremely simple. Uh, three passive components, or actually one active component. Uh, a resistor, a transistor, and a, piezo bu a DC piezo buzzer, battery pack. What it is, is it's a trip wire. Very, 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 very simple. I've got, uh, it can be found, the circuit and the ex explanation can be found at www.instructables.com. Just search uh, tripwire. So anyway, what this is, is you've got a transistor, uh, a 10K ohm resistor, and your piezo buzzer. Your power supply and your tripwire. Now what you'd be using for your tripwire, you can use meters and meters of, uh, of uh, extremely, extremely thin uh, magnet wire. But just for simplicity, I'm just going to use this alligator clip. Uh, to my two uh, nail posts here. What you would do is you would put this uh, extremely thin, I think it's 30 gauge magnet wire to each one of these poles connecting them uh, and completing the circuit. And as soon as you disconnect one of them or someone breaks the uh, breaks the wire, this breaks ex this magnet wire breaks extremely easily, uh, the piezo buzzer goes off. And it's pretty annoying. And here's the thing. I'll just put that back on. When you break the wire, you know, I can't just clip it back on. Whoever's, you know, whoever's broken into your room, per se, or your liquor cabinet, which I'm going to do one day uh, when I have kids, or, uh, uh, you know, your front door, uh, if someone breaks it, they're not going to be able to reconnect this magnet wire. They won't even see it. It, don't, it takes about a, probably about a pound of force to break the magnet wire. You wouldn't have this, but it's extremely simple. It takes 10 minutes to put together. You need an NPN transistor. I'm using it, the 2N... Uh, 4401, but you can use any low power or high power uh, NPN transistor, 10k ohm uh, resistor. Uh, I'm using a 5 volt DC piezo buzzer. You can use another piezo buzzer, and I'm using four AA batteries in series for six volts. You can use a nine volt as long as your piezo battery can handle it. Anyway, uh, if you if you're more if you're interested in learning how this works, extremely simple circuit. Go to uh, www.instructables.com. Uh, search uh, either engineering shock or um, tripwire and uh, you'll see it so uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day